the No Fate channel checking in, and this is the first update on my one month no coffee challenge. I had promised to give you guys an update on how my 35 day challenge of no coffee, tea, or caffeinated beverages was going. And frankly, I lied. I didn't have time last week to, to film this, um, but I'm doing it now. We're nearing the two week mark, and the good news is I haven't had any caffeinated beverages. I am holding strong. Uh, the bad news is this week has actually been a lot harder than the first week. The first week I thought was going to be brutal, but frankly, I think I was really motivated because of the challenge and I was all gung-ho that I pushed through some of, uh, some of the withdrawal symptoms and, and, and soldiered on, so to speak, and was doing good. This week, it's been pretty rough, I'm not going to lie. Frankly, uh, I had a couple days where I had to get up early for 4.30 a.m. workout sessions in order to squeeze it in before work, and uh, that's where it really hurt because in the afternoon on those early morning workout days, is where I would kick in that second or third cup of coffee to kind of push me through to uh, bedtime. But just not having it hurt. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I am holding strong and I am I'm doing my best to kind of mitigate some of the problems of no caffeine by trying to get more sleep in, which is easier said than done. This week I did start um, an over-the-counter teeth whitener as promised. I'm trying to bring some of the shine back uh, of my teeth. Having that coffee addiction definitely didn't do any help for... Uh, the coloring of my teeth. The teeth whitener, I'm on my fourth day. It's pretty simple. It's 20 minutes at night. I'm not expecting uh, much of a huge difference, but I am expecting some results. I already see some changes in the mirror in terms of my teeth appearing a few, probably one or two shades lighter already. Now, I don't know if that's just bias on my part because I'm assuming that this product is going to work, but either way, um, I think my teeth are whiter and it feels better just looking in the mirror and not seeing as dark of a teeth as I had seen before. Uh, when this challenge is over, I will show you guys before and after photos of my teeth. As excited as that as I know you guys are to see my, my choppers up close. But uh, that way you can see how well the teeth whitener did work. Um, obviously, over the counter, not nearly as good as going to the doctors or the professionals and paying out you know, however that much costs, three to five hundred dollars, but over the counter, obviously a lot cheaper. I don't think I'm going to have trouble making 35 days without coffee. I've gone almost to the halfway point now, and uh, I think if I was going to have a relapse, I would have had it. My concern, though, is when I hit that 35 days, if I'm simply going to go back to my old habits of three cups a day. I'm actually considering extending this challenge up to the birth of my daughter, due in late August. So that would be over two months of no tea or no coffee. I need you guys to let me know in the comments below. Do you think uh, I've learned my lesson after 35 days, or do you think I should really make this challenge difficult for myself and make it count and go all the way up to the birth of my daughter? That way, uh, once my daughter's born, I'm really going to need some coffee then, um, and that way I'll have that, uh, that advantage to kind of help get me through the first couple weeks of uh, having my second child. Let me know in the comments below, again, should I stick to 35 days for this challenge or simply go all the way through to the birth of my daughter? If you've come this far in the video, you know what to do. Give it a like, hit that subscribe button as usual. Thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. The No Fate channel is dedicated to providing you with ideas on how to improve your community. Your community at home, your community in your neighborhood, and your community in your town. I'll also be giving you insight into this dad's tricks, trips, and tribulations.